The All Japan Cup won by Fabio Quattararo in 11th. I think you could probably treat that 11th, that 11, just take away the, the first digit, and that's a first place for him. Zarko second, Mir third, and then Rins came 16th, so he's fourth. And then we go down to Taka and Marini all the way down the field. But Quattararo, winner of the Japanese Cup round one, 25 points in the bag for Fabio uh, in round one of the Japanese Cup. Uh, really good result. Zarko, impressive. Mir, nice to see him get some sort of a decent result, picking up points. I mean, he's well on track to beat his score from last year of 26 points. We're up and away. What's that? Three points for him. So if he keeps tracking at that level, he's going to smash his last year's target. Uh, Rins fell out of the points in the end uh, and by a fair bit, finished a long way behind uh, Fabio. We are expecting with them, both the Japanese manufacturers, that with the amount of concessions that they'll be getting throughout the season, they have to have to be able to make up ground. So it's designed that way that they can develop throughout the season now and make up time somewhere. So onwards and upwards for the Jap- the Japanese manufacturers. But the Japanese Cup, I think getting a top 10 for any of these Japanese uh, manufacturer riders is probably going to feel like getting a podium. But yeah, they need a little Park Ferme area for the Japanese bikes. You know, when you put like your top independent rider in there, they needed like a top Japanese rider in there. You know, a little spot for Fabio next to the f- top three in Park Ferme. Give him a bit of champagne and stuff. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? 